Hello everybody. We're back again with another video. I just want to remind everybody, me and uh, Janet's rivalry is still going on. Mm -hmm. I know last time from our games, uh, she had been winning, but she lost to me at one of our youth services. Um, we were playing the game horse, and you know your boy, the modern day Michael Jordan, you know, had a beater. Beat her twice, cause she didn't just want to get defeated once. She just wanted to be reminded again no. <laughs> that I'm a winner. So we're back in our rivalry again today. Um, ja uh, Jan Janet, do you want to tell them what the game is today? Yeah, so basically um, we have a set of questions down um, and whoever gets the question wrong, um, we'll have to put the whipped cream on this pie, delicious pie that we have here. We're gonna have to throw it, like not throw it, but like, like, push it towards um, Isaac's face. So I'm sure, I'm sure I'll be the winner of this one. But I mean, let's, let's, let's take this challenge and then we'll, we'll get to find out. Okay, so we have a specific category today we're gonna do. We're gonna do the 50 top Bible trivia questions for kids. So this should be good oh because <laughs> Janet's a kid and I'm an adult. So this should be an easy I'm kind win. Of, I'm kind of nervous guys. Um, I know this is not an excuse because I just started my walk with God last year, so I'm like still getting to know, you know, like the Bible and His Word. So, Good um, thing we chose the kids' names. <laughs> we'll show some grace. We'll show some grace. Okay. Um, when what is the last book of the Old Testament? <laughs> oh shoot, that was straight in. I didn't even read it. I, know. I don't have the answer. I mean, oh shoot. <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. Um, let's see. Leviticus. Revolu re revolu uh, oh my God. That's that's, that's the New Revolution. Testament. No. Revelations is the is the New Testament. My my final answer is Leviticus. Ruth. Um. Is that a bad? Is that book of the Bible? <laughs> no. Is that in Judges? <laughs> Dad is gonna be so disappointed. I know he is. I know he is. We are sorry in advance, Pastor. Fine. Fine. Let, that'll be a free one. We won't do that one. Ariana, what's the answer? Uh, the, what, did you say the New last Testament book of the Old Testament. New Testament? Old Testament. Oh, the Old Testament. They have Malachi. The, uh, Malachi, yeah. Malachi. Malachi. <laughs> Come on, oh let's roll. roll. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was reading the answer. I was mm -hmm. going to see if that's what it said. Okay. okay. What does it say? It said, it's second, it, it sounds wrong. Oh, it says Malachi. Malachi. Dang. Okay. Uh, don't read the answers. I'm not reading I, I, I don't trust you. After Noah got off the boat, what sign did God give to show a promise to never flood the world again? I already know. Um, I don't know. A rainbow? You're feeding the answers, Ariona. <laughs> it's a rainbow. Oh my okay. god. Okay. I need to step up my. How game. many days and nights did Jesus fast? Um, wasn't it three? Yeah. Forty. It was forty. So then where did, I heard the three, wait, hold on. I heard the three somewhere. Wait, hold on, really quick. Where, where did the three come from? The three's right here. No, no. <laughs> the resurrection. Resurrection. Three oh, days he resurrected. That, I, okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm careful with my hair. Do we have like a trash bag? You know, I curled we my actually, hair today, guys. We actually have these, uh, oh Ariana bought us these professional grade oh napkins. Okay, I'm gonna do it like this, Isaac, because my yeah, there hair. You go. Here, look, she's joining the, she's joining yeah. the convent. Oh my God. Oh, hold on, hold on, let me, let me just fix no, that up No, no, that's quick. enough, Isaac, that is enough. That is enough. Would what you like me to push your face into it since? Yeah? No, you're gonna Come do on. it hard. I'm not. I do I'm not, not trust you. I definitely you. care. I think you should grab it. Oh. Like this? And then I'll put your oh, head in, right? Ready? Guys. Three, two. Cleaning your Don't. face. I'm cleaning your face. No, no, no. I got it. Hold on. Don't. I'm not. No more, okay? I'm not. Am I, oh. Ariona? No. See? Oh my God! It's not in my eyeball, you guys. It's okay. It's okay. What I can say. So I tell love us. You guys. So tell us. Do you feel like you're closer to God now? Do you want to play? Definitely. <laughs> yeah. We have a. Our, our church is, is honestly blessed because we have security with us, and not only that. 
Richard is a oh. part of our church congregation. He's filming today. Um, so Richard said, we walk by faith and not by sight. So oh that's his God. advice to you. Um, Guys, Splatoon got in my eyeballs. Like, I see foggy. <laughs> Would you like us to give you some water? No, I'm okay. We can put it in your eyes if you'd like. No, I'm not Are you ready for the next one? Wait, do I have mascara everywhere? No. No? Okay. No, okay. Are you ready for the next one? You want to just reuse the same pie? Because the pie's oh pretty much intact God. still. You want, you, we'll let you use the same pie. We won't yeah, put more with How about we change the questions to like the regular ones? <laughs> you don't want Bible trivia no more? No, I need to step up my game. Okay, um, let me do the other trivia. I was ready, I was ready, guys. I was ready, I had multiple hey, questions. Okay, let's do it. What? Shoot. Let me prepare for the one that Isaac's gonna say, guys. That's like confidence. There you go. I can't wait till like I like <laughs> smell like milk, guys. Literally, I smell like milk. What is the red hot stuff that flows on the out of a, a volcano? Lava. Lava. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Oh, lava. Okay, my okay, turn. Ask, ask yeah. me one. Um, the droplets of water fall back to the earth. This is called hail. No. Condensation? Precipitation? No. Precipitation. precipitation? Yeah, it's precipitation. No! You got it wrong though because you didn't get it right. I gave you a free one, so that should be my free one. What do you mean? I gave you a free pass when you got your first one wrong. Okay, you're right. You're okay. right. Give me another one. Let's be fair. Okay. Let's be fair, Ariona. Ariona's like, put it in his face. Okay. Which type of soil is made up of very, very tiny grains of rock? Dang. Soil? What time? No, you said what type of soil? What type of soil is made up of very, very tiny grains of rock? Who learns this stuff? <laughs> Who learns about soil? Uh, all I know is like land, like sedimentary. That's all I know. No, you got it wrong. It's clay. 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 <laughs> okay, here. Oh Don't get my phone wet. I, I won't. I, I will won't. take this gladly. Hurry Let's up, Janet. Do it. We got well, questions. For you. There you go. Okay. <laughs> hey, no, this one's so, this one's harder than that. So okay, like, don't I'll, throw I'll it in my face. Okay, I was very I gentle with you. Okay, I won't. Close your eyes. No. Close your eyes. Come on. Stop. Where's the next? Hold on here, I'll help you out. <laughs> How does it feel, Isaac, huh? It's really cold. Guys, we dropped the, the pie. You dropped the pie? We dropped the pie. Okay, Don't tell Pastor Mauricio. We won't, we won't, we won't. He just finished preaching. <laughs> we just ruined his beautiful stage. Okay, give, oh give me another one. God. Give me another question. Okay, come on. I have my phone uh, here. Yeah. There's pie. Why is there whipped cream on my butt? <laughs> How is there whipped? What'd you do? You go, Papa? Dang. Oh. You don't want to keep like in between. No! Oh Let's keep God. it going! Okay, come on, come on. Three more questions, right? So three more sets of questions. My phone won't even work now. Oh, here. Okay, which Star Wars character is partially named after director George Lucas, the son? Um. Okay. Or Janet, let me just get this ready for Hold you. on, okay, can you help me out on like the characters? I never watched Star Wars before. I don't even know this answer. Oh my God. Um, let's see, let's see. Okay, repeat it again. Which Star Wars character is partially named after director George Lucas's son? Um, so I'll give character. you I'll give you some some people um, to choose from. Okay. Max Brevo, Rick Ali, Dexter Jetster, Willow w Willrow Hood. Um, Max Jetster. Max Jetster. Max Rebo or yes. Dexter Jetster? Oh, Dexter Jetster. You're actually right. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Okay, good. which species stole the planet? Wait, hold on, it's my turn. No, 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 one more. No, no, stole... it's my turn. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, um, okay, no. Do the Star Wars category. I kept you at Star Wars. How about Harry Potter? I don't know anything about Harry Potter. Perfect. <laughs> Let's see. Go. Um, hold on. Um, Star Wars. Damn, they only have one Star Wars. Okay. There was like two. Okay. In one month, in what month were all six original Star Wars films released? Crap. I'm gonna say Christmas, December. Okay, I'll give you options. March, April, May, June. What? It was December, right? I thought it was. March, April, May, June. Okay. The 
Is that what you said? Those are the yes. those are March, April, oh. May, or June. May, May. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, May the fourth. I'm so dumb. Yes, got you it. Got okay. it right. Okay, your turn. Okay, what species stole the plans from the Death Star? Mm -hmm. Solistan, Bothan, Syrian, or Rakata, or Rakata? Okay, again. Uh, which species stole the plants from the Zed Star? I already knew this one. Uh, Solistan, Bothan, Syrian, or Rakata? Rakata. False, it's the Bothan. <gasps> Rakata's cheese. Oh my god. Here, just don't re don't re cream Put, it. Hold on, my hair, Isaac. <laughs> I know, but don't re cream it. Let's just use the same pie because oh, it's no. intact still. So. Uh, don't worry, I'll be nice. Okay, come on. Good thing there's less cream this time, be right? Be gentle. I baptize you in the name of. <laughs> Bothan Spies, Star Wars, and Darth Vader. How was that? I don't like it. <laughs> you guys, this is not... Uh -uh. Oh, man. Okay, give me one. Okay. Last question. Final one. I'm ready to go! So wait, far, I'm winning. Wait, so who's winning? Me. Winning? Yeah, I'm winning. Okay. Um, okay, you guys ready? Okay. Ooh, okay. What song is Phoebe most well known for? Phoebe? Phoebe? Who's Phoebe? <laughs> Come on, give us a one that I'm we kind of know. I'm serious. I'm serious. Phoebe? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What's the What's the thing? Um, smelly dog, smelly rat, smelly cat, or smelly rabbit. What? Which one is it? You just speak up. Okay. What song is Phoebe most well known for? Smelly dog, smelly rat, smelly cat, or smelly rabbit? Just tell me the names of the dog, of the animals instead of the smells. Okay, dog, rat, cat, rabbit. Rabbit. You got it wrong. Get ready, Isaac. Wait, we need to... Use this pie, pie because I want to eat the apple pie. The apple? Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. I mean, I want to eat the pumpkin pie. I was like, wait, it's on the floor. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay. Let's do it. Oh, look great. Come on, guys. Guys, what I advise is for you to try this at home. If you guys have nothing to do, I'll be buy nice. a pie. I'll, I'll be nice. Let me know when to stop. Stop. Wow. <laughs> she said, let me know when to stop, and she kept going. Okay. Are you ready? Man, you guys. So we're even. You know that, right? Yeah, we're even. we're even. Yeah, let's get it done. <laughs> I felt the whole pie, like... Go around oh, my yeah. face. I hope you guys can hear like the like when you like like when it hits his face. Like, I just like, show my face real quick. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Oh my god. Richard, w Richard, what are your thoughts? Beautiful, right? It's a masterpiece. Amen. Damn, your nose really made a dent into the pot. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my god, man. Damn. Okay. okay. Wow. So. That was it guys, so we are actually a tie. Um, let us know in the comments what you guys think about this, like, you know, kind of challenge. Let us know if you guys want to see more of this, um, because I know this is a little messy, but it's funny, so. Um, and let us know who you think won. Yeah, even though we're a tie, um, but let us know who you think won um, down below in the comments. And Whose phone's ringing over there? <laughs> we love you all. Have a good one. Hello, Elevate Youth. I just want to say that I won this past game. I came out strong. I, you know, answered questions a little bit more confidently than Janet did. I just feel like all across, I just took it more like a champ. And I was able to surprise Janet at the end when she wasn't paying attention. I said, whose phone is ringing? There was no phone ringing. There was no phone on vibrant. There was no phone on full on loud. She just looked that way, went, huh? and I went, pa. So I feel like all around, I just brought it. I feel like I am the winner. I just bring that to the team. I just bring that to the table. But Janet, I'm so glad that you just love playing games with me and continually lose. It honestly means a lot to me. Keep in mind, we're tied. So there, nobody lost, nobody won. Um, so next game, we'll determine. Okay, know, next game. Yeah. Next game. But you know what, Janet? Even though we have this big old competition against each other, I'm thankful for you. Likewise. Likewise. She's not. That's, that's a lie. <laughs> we have a script. I was. A good, she said likewise just because Ariana was like, she put up the thing and said likewise. No, but Janet, though, I really am thankful for you. 
especially during this time of the year of thankfulness. It's turkey season. Ha! Turkey. My little turkey. <laughs> um, but I know that sometimes it can be difficult, right? You have difficult people in your family. Would you have difficult people in your family too, Definitely. Janet? Yeah? Are you the most difficult though? No. You probably are. <laughs> it's the most difficult ones that are like, I know I'm the most difficult one. Ariona's like, yes, <laughs> amen. Me and, Ariona, me and Ariona butt heads all the time. We're like two rhino, right, rhinoceroses, rhinos. I could have just said that. We're like two rhinos with, they're just always going at each other. We always just, you know, collide. But you know what, Ariona, I just want to say, I'm thankful for you. Look at her smiling right now. She's like, <laughs> I'm not. No, she, she's thankful for me too. You better, right? Yeah, she's, she put thumbs up. But I know it's hard sometimes, especially during the season, to be thankful. What's there to be thankful for? Life kind of sucks. We're not in school. We can barely go see our friends. Just life's a little tough. I don't know, but that's how I feel like this season is. Mm -hmm. What about you? I definitely, Isaac, like, I know, um, I mean, there's so much to be thankful for within this year. Um, and it's like for myself speaking, you know, um, I know that at times um, I found myself being more thankful um, for the things that went great, you know? And, um, and I know that, you know, obviously the things that are going great, it's gonna be thankful for, right? Um, but I also, during this season and during this year, um, there weren't so many great things that happened within the year in my family, in my personal life, right? Um, but I still decided to be thankful, you know, because I know that um, those things are shaping my character, are shaping my trust, are shaping my faith, right? Um, and the fact that God even tells us to find joy in our troubles, that is something that I have been practicing as well, you know? So when I reflect back um, on Thanksgiving Day with my family, on the things that I'm thankful for, I would definitely say I'm thankful for my troubles. And knowing myself a year ago, I wouldn't have had said that, you know? But just to see the growth that took place in my life um, and that will continue to take place, I'm like, I'm thankful for my troubles, you know? Um, because it's de it has definitely shaped uh, my character within the season of my life. And that, and just that alone, I'm able to serve my family more differently, more, in a more better and different way, right, than how I did last year. You know, I'm more wise about discussions. I'm more wise about, you know, the decisions that my brothers, because you guys, my brothers are a mess, right? But that's okay, you know? So I'm able to have more conversations that are more wise, that are more loving, because I'm more understanding, you know? Um, so what would you say, Isaac, that you're thankful for during this, this season of your life or this year? Well, a scripture I go back on is Psalms 107, 21. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love. You know, I think so many times we're able to judge so many other people. We're great at that, aren't we? We're like, oh, look, look at what Isaac's wearing. That's disgusting. Oh my God. Uh, look how, look how so-and-so said this. What a jerk. Well, look, look at how they're dressed like this. Look at what they're not doing. Like, it's so easy to judge everybody. In a, in a thankful time of year, we should be thankful for people that we have. At least you have people to judge around you. You know, be thankful for that. But no, we shouldn't be judging people. We shouldn't be, you know, oh my God, my life's hard. Oh my God, my life's this. Oh my God, my mom won't let me have my TikTok app out after 9 p.m. Oh my God, like get over it. Honestly, think during this time of season, we forget how much God has done for us. What? Are, who are we to judge others? Who are we to be like, oh, no, they deserve that. Blah, blah, blah. This is the time to be thankful. This is the time to be reminded of who you and I are and what we've been saved from. I'm not perfect. I'm one of those difficult people in my family. You tell me five different things, and I'll do it five different ways than how you told me. I'm just that difficult. But you know what? I'm thankful for what God has done for me in this season. I remember when God met me and how, you know, even kind of like the game that we were playing. Sometimes life's going to give you a pie in the face. Do you realize how me and Janet, we laughed after we had the pie in our face? Because you know what? I think in life, so many of us, we just get a pie in our face. We don't wipe it off. We just hope that it just magically is going to fall apart and we're going to be beautiful again. No, you have to wipe it off and you have to laugh it off. And you know how you're able to do that? By having a God in heaven who loves you and who cares about you. And you know what? Before life with God, that was me. I was just hoping that the whipped cream and all the, you know, uh, pie would be off my face. But that's not how life works. 
And I just want to emphasize something really quick. Like, I don't know if you guys saw, but Isaac was handing me the, the napkins. That's how our God is, you know, in between, like, the us getting, like, slapped with pies and getting messy and, like, you know, just coming, like, in touch with some, like, challenges. God is our helper. He, he will literally give you napkins. He will guide you. He will, like, help you in those times. So it just, that, when you were explaining that, that just reminded me um, of a bit. No, yeah. Um, I was sorry, I was thrown off because whipped cream was legit in my nose, and I'm like, I can feel it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, no, it's true. And I think we just have to remember, during this season, let's be thankful. Let's not judge others. Who are we? You still get dropped off by your mom or your dad somewhere you want to go. You probably still pick your nose in your room when no one's there. Let's get back to the basics of, let's just love. Imagine, in the, remember your darkest place you had in life. Think about it. Maybe you had really bad grades. You're like, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I don't even know how I'm gonna pass. Remember that dark moment, maybe where you had no friends. Maybe your parents weren't there for you, listening to you when you were struggling. I want you to remember that dark moment in your head. Okay, I'm not trying to get us all depressed, but I want you to keep that moment in your head right now. Just take 10 seconds, think about it. I'm thinking of mine. All right, now with that moment, see you got out of it. You're here today. Think, think about this, there's someone out there right now who's having that same dark moment or maybe even darker than what you had. And how are you treating them? Are they seeing the joy of the Lord on your face? Are they showing, are they, are they seeing that you're showing uh, someone who cares, someone who, 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 you know, even a hello goes a long way. Are you showing that? Yeah, are you, are, are you being kind? Because someone's out there that needs you. They need an Ariona. They need a Janet. They need an Isaac, they need you. So during this time of being thankful and even of being with your family, we've all fallen short, we've all made mistakes. But I challenge you today, even if you've taken 20 pies in the face, wipe it off today. Wipe it off with Jesus. Let him give you a napkin. Even better yet, I know that our God is so good, sometimes he'll clean your face for you. All you have to do is ask. And you know what, it's that simple. It's as simple as getting a pie thrown in your face. That's how easy God is. It's not overcomplicated. I don't gotta send like five doves into the air and hope that Jesus responds back to me. All I gotta do is today is close my eyes and be like, God, I need your help. I'm getting a lot of pies in my face. Life's getting a little difficult. It's getting hard to see the truth. Because when a pie's in your face, you can't see. No. Look, I mean, look, when she yeah. put a pie in my face, I dropped another pie. <laughs> Sometimes you feel like you're, everything, you're just dropping and dropping it. All I ask you to do today is stop and ask God yes. for some help. Exactly. What about anything, any final comments, Jen? Um, Janet? I just encourage you um, to do something. Like, I love how what Isaac said. Like, everybody, everyone needs an Ariana. Everyone needs a Janet or an Isaac, right? Like, just the fact that we're able to play such a big impact in somebody's life is so powerful, guys. The fact that God is willing to use you and is using you, it's so powerful. So I encourage you to do something kind this Thanksgiving, you know, whether it's volunteering at a, a place where they're, where they're giving, you know, food to the homeless people or writing a thank you card to the people who have helped you throughout the whole year, your college counselors, your teachers that, you know, are trying their best, um, hopefully during this pandemic in school or even your parents, your siblings, whoever you feel like in your heart that, you know, you want to give your things to, do it. It's such a kind way to, to say thank you to somebody. And most importantly, don't forget to say thank you to God in your prayer, right? Don't forget to thank him for sustaining you, for blessing you on your good days and on your bad days, because he is always present and he is always there. He is never failing. He's not, you know, that's the reason why you're still standing here today, right? Um, so I just encourage you to do something kind today. All right. Yeah. And I just want to end off again with this. Psalms 107, 21. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Remember, you have something to be thankful for today. God loves you. He loves me. And it's unfailing, no matter what mistakes you and I do. And you know what? I want to invite you, if that's you today, and maybe you've had tons of pies thrown in your face, and you're like, I'm tired. I need to see something. I'm challenging you right now. If you would just bow your head and close your eyes with me, and I would just love to pray with you because I want you to see again. And I know God wants to let you see again because there's unfailing love for you. So let me pray for you. So Father, if there's someone out there, even for me, God, I know I've had many pies thrown in my face. 
I know sometimes I'm the one who even throws a pie in my own face. I make so many mistakes. But I pray, Lord God, that you would forgive me, that you would help me to see differently today, that you would wipe all the gunk out of my face so that I could see that you love me and that I have some loving people around me and that I would be thankful during this season, that I remember what you've done for me. And maybe if this is your first time knowing about this Jesus, I pray for those who want to get to know you today, that you would enter into their heart, that you would be their Lord and Savior, that you would forgive all of us of all of our sins, and that you'd make us feel fresh and new today. And I thank you so much, God, for what you're doing in our life and for what you're about to do. So I pray during this, this Thanksgiving season that we would just be close to our families, our loved ones, that we would give each other a chance. We wouldn't judge each other. We wouldn't hold things against each other, but that we would live in freedom and live in forgiveness and live in your unfailing love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We love you guys. We love you. And you know what? We're going to have a game again next week. And then uh, let's see if I can beat Janet then. And also, if you want to get first first row seats to sing Janet and Lose to me, you got to come check us out every single Wednesday. We're over in our annex building. We got it going. Ariona is planning to rap this Wednesday. She even wrote a whole song. She's going to be rapping live. So you don't want to miss it. It's going to be full on in Albania. We won't know what she's saying, but we're just going to guess it. Okay. It just sounds cool. Yes. All right. And I've been learning Albanian a lot recently. Right. Yes. Right. Ariona. So let me just say all I know is Shkime, Sia. And then I say Mir. Poti. Shumir. Poti. Poti. Yeah. <laughs> And then that's all I know. That's all the Banyan I know. But we love you. Yeah. We can't wait to see you. Come this Wednesday. We're going to have awesome snacks. We're going to be inside because it's super cold. So you don't need to bring that big of a sweater yes. or a big old blanket because you're just going to get a blanket of love from us. Right? Yes. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram, guys. We do meet, um, the youth leaders meet with the kids, the youth kids, every single week. So if you're not connected, please Follow us on Instagram, underscore Elevy Youth, underscore, and send us a text message if you're not connected or if you have any questions on our Wednesday services. So we hope to see you guys on Wednesday, um, 6.20 p.m. Make sure you bring your mask, your sweater, because it is chilly, um, and make sure you're willing to come and show up, okay? So we love you guys, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye.